I know episode 8 was Aunt Lydia's episode but this episode could have been titled Handmaids versus Handmaids. This can be a potential storyline. Two groups or gangs of handmaids fighting it out, one group headed by June and another group headed by Janine. I would like to see at least one episode that explores this angle. What the handmaids think about each other? What do the other handmaids think about June? Do they have any opinion on how June escapes punishment every time? Do they dislike her or do they consider her as their leader? Okay, so what happened in episode 8? In episode 8, we get to see Aunt Lydia's backstory in flashbacks. Well, in the present timeline, we see June bullying fellow handmaid of Matthew. She has turned other handmaids against of Matthew, resulting in chaos, complete breakdown of of Matthew, her attack on Janine, and the end result was more deaths. If in episode 7, Martha was executed by hanging, then in episode 8, The guard at the food market was killed by off Matthew before she was shot herself by the guards. Aunt Lydia has been attacked once by Emily so it should not surprise us if another handmaid attacks her again. Of course she won't be killed as she is one of the main villains on the show. The way the number of deaths are increasing in every episode on the handmaid's tale, I wonder who's going to get killed in the next episode, episode 9. What do you think will off Matthew's baby survive? The episode begins with a birthing ritual which is always difficult to watch. June for some reason is not participating in this ritual. She is lost in her own thoughts. She is still mad at her walking partner of Matthew for the hanging of her daughter's Martha Frances. She wants to take revenge and she has made other handmaids turn against of Matthew. I wonder if June is one of the normal handmaids or she has promoted herself to be the leader of the handmaids. Of course, Aunt Lydia is watching all this. How is she going to deal with June? At least this time we are told the reason why June escapes punishment often. She is supposed to be on TV to help the Waterford's mission to get Nicole back. Okay, that's a valid reason and Aunt Lydia can't touch her, can't punish her physically until they get Nicole back. But Aunt Lydia has other plans to shame her. But will that plan be effective? That's another matter. What we see next, the handmaids pointing at June and saying it's her fault that the Martha died. June is not bothered by this public shaming. Aunt Lydia tries the emotional card telling her how she disturbed her daughter's life. That turns on June's revenge mode. She revealed Off Matthew doesn't want her baby. And this shifts everyone's focus on Off Matthew as she's forced to admit the truth. It was terrible to watch Off Matthew crying while June was enjoying this moment of revenge. So this scene shows us once again the difficult life of the handmaid in Gilead. The handmaids have to be careful all the time as there are some handmaids who are deeply religious who really believe in Gilead. Aunt Lydia brainwashes them and uses them to keep an eye on the ones who she thinks are not obeying the rules and regulations of Gilead. We can see Off Matthew is losing it. She needs help from others, but this is Gilead. There is no help for her. We expect June to understand her condition and not bully her. But are we expecting too much from June? June is herself in a mess. She has lost focus. She's losing it herself. She's making reckless choices. She had put Mrs. Lawrence in danger. She got the Martha killed due to her bad decision. Now though Off Matthew is at fault, June is responsible for driving her insane. I'm sure Aunt Lydia can see the change in June's behavior. She's aware that June is losing it. She needs to figure out how to deal with her. Maybe she is concerned in her own way as she is expected to discipline and control the handmaids and she does care about them as they are really important to Gilead. In the food market, Aunt Lydia tells June that her household is going to be changed. She is going to be removed from the Lawrence's household. The food market action scene was well executed. June's smile was creepy. Finally, off Matthew loses it and hits Janine. She then kills one of the guards, grabs his gun and aims at Aunt Lydia, but soon she is shot herself by the guards. The ending of this episode was chilling with June standing there in the midst of violence and death with that creepy smile on her face. In this episode, we also get to see much awaited Aunt Lydia's backstory. We learn how deeply religious she was in her pre-Gilead life. that kind of explains why she is a true believer in gilead it was nice to see her in regular clothes with her hair down and enjoying herself on a night out we learn that she lives alone and has had a bad marriage now it's not clear if she became so vicious and evil because of her bad marriage and that one failed date or she has been always like that evil and vicious even in pre gilead life as she reported the mother of the boy with whom she had spent some good moments celebrating christmas 
She reported the mother for moral weakness and the boy was sent away to foster care. So that explains Aunt Lydia's ambiguous behavior in Gilead, most of the time vicious and sometimes nice and sympathetic towards the handmaids. Though it's not very convincing to me, it's not clear who's called unfit in this episode. Is it the mother of the boy or is it Aunt Lydia who is unfit in a social environment? What do you think? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.